Good day, everyone. I am Siti Aina M. Makakiling, a teacher three from the Duan Elementary School. I am going to present my study entitled Level of Awareness and Practices on Solid Waste Management in Baloyu West District. We people use materials to satisfy our needs and wants. A number of these materials are being discarded once used and regarded as solid waste. Through education, we tend to acquire information and skills on how to dispose our wastes. That is solid waste management. Schools have been integrating the environmental awareness. However, as observed, waste sorting and segregation is not practiced and, as a result, recycling and other proper disposal practices become cumbersome. The problems associated with the waste disposal in schools includes littering of food remains, improper disposal of garbage, and burning of waste. These practices generate environmental and health hazard. Study reveals that awareness of solid waste management will create change on how people look at garbage. It is a key for students to be involved in the waste management program of the schools where effective and sustainable implementation could be achieved. Republic Act 9003, also known as Solid Waste Management Act, enjoins the Department of Education to sharply incorporate ecological solid waste management, action the involvement of administrators, teachers, and students to apply waste management principles and to push environmental awareness and action among the students. However, the implementation of those mandates to schools weren't measured. Thus, the study was conducted to assess the level of awareness and practices among grade 5 and grade 6 pupils of the selected schools. This study assessed the pupils' level of awareness and practices on solid waste management in Baloi West District. Specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. First, what is the level of pupils' awareness on solid waste management? Second, what is the level of pupils' practices on solid waste management in terms of segregation, reduce, reuse, recycle, and disposal. Third, is there any significant relationship between pupils' level of awareness and their practices on solid waste management? And the last one is, what action plan can be formulated based on the result of the study? Scope and limitation. The respondents of the study were the 292 grade 5 and 6 pupils of the three schools of Baloi West District, namely the Duan Elementary School, Momongan Elementary School, and Banco Elementary School for school year 2019-2020. For research methodology, sampling, the study used purposive sampling in the selection of the respondents a total of 292 grade 5 and 6 learners. Research design, descriptive correlational type method was employed in the study. Research instrument, the study utilized two sets of instruments. First, a questionnaire adapted from Abolution et al. 2012 was used to assess the level of pupils awareness on solid waste management. Second instrument was adapted from Kahoy 2013. It was used to assess the pupils' practices towards solid waste management. For statistical treatment, after gathering the data, it was interpreted, tabulated, and analyzed using the following statistical tools. Weighted mean used to determine the pupils' level of awareness and practices on solid waste management chi-square used to determine the significant relationship between the variables considered. As a researcher, 
we need to observe that the highest ethical standard and principle in implementing the research is considered and adhered throughout the process to ensure confidentiality and protection to the respondents. To establish the reliability of instruments used, it was pilot tested to 50 pupils of Pakalundo Integrated School. The reliability index yielded 0 0.80 using Cronbach Alpha. After then, the researcher distributed the questionnaires to the respondents, which were collected afterwards. Then it was analyzed using weighted mean and chi-square. Lastly, an action plan is formulated based on the result of the study. Now let us proceed to the results and discussion. Problem 1 as research question number 1, what is the level of pupils' awareness on solid waste management? The table shows that the respondents were aware of the proper disposal of garbage, identifying biodegradable from non-biodegradable waste. They are mindful of the possible illnesses that they can get whenever trashes are not properly disposed. They were also aware on the practices like reuse, recycle, and reduce. The solid waste management program of their school, its policies and purposes, and they are aware of their responsibilities towards school's solid waste management. However, the respondents are not so aware on the importance of solid waste management the corresponding sanctions on violating solid waste management program, the solid waste management committee of their school, and they were not so aware of the Republic Act 9003. Generally, the assessment of the respondents showed that they are aware of the solid waste management program. Next, problem number two. What is the level of pupils' practices on solid waste management in terms of segregation, reduce, reuse, recycle, and disposal? The first table shows the level of pupils' practices on solid waste management in terms of segregation. It depicts that the respondents have an average practice in mixing all their garbage in one garbage container. But pupils have low practices in segregating recyclable items for collection, separating recyclable waste from non-recyclable waste, and segregating biodegradable from non-biodegradable waste at school and in separating non-harmful waste from toxic and hazardous waste. This implies that pupils have low practices in segregating their solid waste. So, teachers should integrate lessons and activities on the importance of practicing separation of garbage that would lead to reduction of solid waste for disposal. Next, in terms of reducing solid waste, the table shows that the students have an average practices in being cautious and responsible to every waste they produced. They packed their lunch bags so that they can buy packed food at the school. They also use reusable water bottles than buying water in one used plastic bottles at the school. Yet, Pupils have low practices in buying only what they need so that they would not end up throwing away extra food. And they have low practices in borrowing or sharing things that are needed occasionally. Respondents have an average level of practices in reducing solid waste. It suggests that schools may propose initiatives on waste reduction since pupils have been practicing waste on lessening discarded materials. Next, in terms of reusing solid waste. The table presents that the respondents have an average practice in terms of reusing solid waste. It signifies that pupils practice 
reusing their washable food containers, grocery bags, and old materials than buying a new one, keeping unfilled papers and using it as scratch, and reusing scrap paper into memo pads. In terms of recycling, it shows that the respondents have low level of practices in making decors out of plastic and other colorful waste materials, converting or redesigning waste materials into a new product. Pupils did not ignore the importance of recycling, but they are low in initiating generating income out of waste materials. It denotes that if pupils are aware on solid waste management, they can identify and save recyclable materials out of waste. And lastly, in terms of disposal, the table displays that pupils have an average level of practices in burning their waste materials and throwing in common open dumps. Pupils slightly observe the practices in disposing biodegradable waste into a compost pit, disposed hazardous, toxic, special waste in any garbage container, and throw and left their garbage anywhere. Result means that the respondents have an average level of practices on solid waste management concerning disposal. Problem number three. Is there any significant relationship between pupils' level of awareness and their practices on solid waste management? The table presents that pupils' awareness on solid waste management and practices, specifically in segregation, reducing, and reusing of waste materials are significantly correlated. This entails that pupils' cognizance could be related on some of their practices. If pupils are aware on solid waste management, they can segregate waste according to biodegradable, non-biodegradable, and recyclable. They can also identify reusable materials and reuse garbage. However, pupils' awareness relative to recycling and disposal of solid waste are not significantly related since the p values exceeded at the 0.05 level of significance. This indicates that some of the pupils' practices on solid waste management are not influenced by their awareness. Therefore, the null hypothesis of no significant relationship between pupils' awareness and solid waste practices in terms of recycling and disposal of solid waste were not rejected. The findings of the present study show that respondents are aware of the solid waste management, but they are lacking in the practice of proper waste management, particularly on recycling and disposal. Thus, the schools should establish eco-waste program that may train pupils and encourage them to be responsible for their waste. This could also provide them opportunities to generate income out of their waste. Also, the support of the school's administration to the waste management is also critical to acquire the participation of teachers, pupils, and stakeholders for the attainment of the goals. Problem number four. What action plan can be formulated based on the result of the study? Proposed action plan. Rationale. The overall results of the study showed that the pupils' awareness on solid waste management have effects on their practices, specifically on recycling and disposal. Therefore, the following action plan is being proposed. Objectives. To promote a sustainable solid waste management program through formulate school activities to increase the awareness, implementation, and practice on recycling and proper disposal of wastes. Build linkages with local government agencies for promoting and implementing recycling and proper disposal. 
Schools Solid Waste Management Program Matrix. Areas of concern, awareness on solid waste management, objectives to raise awareness on recycling and disposal, to promote conducive learning environment, actions to be taken, orientation program or seminar workshop on the importance of recycling and proper disposal, campaign on solid waste management through signages, posters and flyers by the school organization. Persons responsible, the Vistan representatives, school head, teachers, SGC and SPT for school year 2020-2021. And then the budget and the budget source, success indicators, school head, teachers and pupils are eligible on the importance of establishing school-based solid waste management program. Implementation of recycling and proper disposal. To develop practices on recycling and disposal of garbages. To promote DRRM awareness. Actions to be taken. Presence of three waste bins, biodegradable, non-biodegradable, and recyclable in offices, classrooms, and school ground. Establishing school MRF, waste bin for pet bottles or eco bricks. Making a compost pit for biodegradable waste, produce recyclable materials out of waste, and initiate income generating project on solid waste management. Success indicators at least 80% of the activities are implemented. Sustainable school based solid waste management program to uphold environmental awareness and practices on solid waste management at school. Actions to be taken, monitoring and evaluation to verify existing practice. Persons responsible, division representatives, school head, teachers, and pupils. For school year 2020-2021, success indicators improved practices on solid waste management. Recommendations based on the result of the study. For an effective implementation of Republic Act 9003, it is recommended to have a school-based solid waste management program to be institutionalized to facilitate awareness and form practices relative to solid waste management among pupils and teachers towards safer and sustainable community. The local government agencies should fully support the school-based solid waste management program, specifically on recycling and disposal to draw interest among the school's stakeholders in participating the program. The school administration ought to strictly implement and integrate the programs as stipulated in Deped Order No. 5, Series 2014, Integration of Gulayan Saparalan, Solid Waste Management and Tree Planting under NGP, Deped Order No. 72, Series 2003, Implementation of ESO. They should implement the proposed work plan to increase the practice on proper disposal and recycling activities in the three chosen schools. Solid Waste Management Seminar Workshop is required to support the school's development program to be participated by teachers, pupils, and stakeholders. Teachers should integrate solid waste management to the curriculum starting from first grade to build awareness at an early age and able to perform proper waste management practices. They may give incentive grants for the pupils to be motivated and organize environmental campaign to extend awareness among the pupils. So, that would be all. Thank you for listening and may God bless us all.